students you are most welcome to the language class today we are starting future time presentation in future time presentation we used to talk about the work that will happen that has not happened yet okay for example we can say that we will go to a hill station in the summer holidays so this is a plan that we will do in do after some time or in the summer holidays summer holidays has not yet came in our next year because this year we cannot go anywhere and next year we have planned that we will go to a summer holidays we will stay there in a hotel and i will trek through the forest and hills we are driving to a hill station in the summer holidays we are staying there in a hotel i am trekking through the forest and the hills we are going to travel to a hill station in the summer holidays we are going to stay there in a hotel i am going to trek through the forest and the hills all these all these sentences are telling about the future not in not now not only we are not doing it now for example we will go we are driving to a hill station in this summer holidays N number 2 that we are driving to a hill station in the summer holidays summer holidays that means when the summer holidays will come we will drive that means we will go by a car we are staying there in a hotel when we will go so see the structure of the sentences we will go to the to a hill station in the summer holidays that means subject plus will plus verb go plus to a hill station in the summer holidays is a object we will stay there in a hotel we subject will plus or uh, stay is the verb here there in a hotel is a object so subject plus shall or will plus verb plus object this is the structure of the future time presentation okay we are driving to a hill station in the summer holidays this is also showing the future only we are staying there in a hotel same future only when we will go in summer holidays they, that time only we will stay there i am trekking through the forest and the hills we are going to travel to a hill station in the summer holidays see this is also showing the future time we are going to stay there in a hotel i am going to trek through the forest and the hills when i will go there this is not mentioned over here so change the will verb in the present uh, present tense in this sentence into i into one b plus verb plus ing and b plus going to plus verb i will invite my friends so we have to write the answer will be i am inviting my friends and next i am going to invite my friends okay next number b my friends will come here the next will be my friends are coming here next number 2 will be my friends are going to come here like this you have to do c d e and next although the three forms will plus, will plus verb b plus verb plus ing and b plus going b plus going to plus verb can sometimes replace each other they expresses very different meanings i will used to talk about future act a sudden decision and offer a promise a possibility in the future 
see my birthday will fall on wednesday on wednesday that means a future fact this is a fact that my birthday will fall and it is a future fact i will come with you to the fair although i am quite busy this is an sudden decision i will give you a gift if you want one this is an offer i will help you when you need it a promise the birds will arrive in the winter a possibility and here b plus verb plus ing and be going to are generally used to talk about a definite future plan these two will show the definite future plan okay i am studying today because daddy is taking us to the zoo tomorrow that means the daddy will take them to the zoo next day positively surely they will go sure my friends are joining our football team they are going to play in the next match so friends are joining the football team they are going to play in the next match so next match they are going there th this is a fixed plan okay next since there is no future tense form in the english one can use the present tense forms and also the past tense forms to talk about the future in english it will rain in the evening it is in present tense they are going to cook next week this is past tense they were going to cook next week past tense presenting future time okay next write what each form of verb means in the sentence below that means it is a definite plan or a sudden decision and offer a promise a possibility what is this okay so we will take a taxi if it rains heavily if so it is a possibility the doctor will meet you in one hour this is a promise or you can say that a future fact okay because the doctor will arrive it is already the appointment is taken lalit will be an astronaut this is an future possibility okay so rest of them you will do who are you planning to meet next week you have to answer the following questions to talk about your future plan who are this one you will not do this one will be crossed because we will do only the selected ones only we will do this one future uh, definite plan and all this and this one you will not do number two questions this one you will not do okay so read the chapter if there will be any problem we will ask in the future uh, in the live class and in the live class we will again discuss about chapter 15 16 17 but we will focus on 16 past continuous tense and 17 future tense so you have to read this very carefully okay till the next class goodbye have a nice time and keep practicing grammar